Did you know that if healthcare was a country, it would be the fifth largest carbon dioxide emitter on the planet, larger than Japan and Brazil, with a climate footprint of 500 coal-fired power plants, or 4-5% of the total global carbon dioxide emissions. For a sector whose mission statement is to do no harm, it's a pill a bit hard to swallow. And recently, even the WHO started to push for a more environmentally sustainable approach to healthcare. So let's explore three plus one ways on how the digital health revolution could help shrink healthcare's carbon footprint. I'm Dr. Bertalan Meshku, and you are watching The Medical Futurist. Number one, going paperless. The healthcare industry is notorious for its inefficiency when it comes to paperwork. Hospitals are handling piles of medical documents every day, and they are still very slow and hesitant to transition into a digital environment. Health records, medical billing, internal records, insurance claims, compliance records, and employee payrolls are still mostly done on paper. And even though it's needlessly wasteful, it doesn't have any upside either. One of the biggest risks of using paper records is that they can easily get lost or misplaced with a high risk of exposure. Of course, going digital would open up a new whole can of worms. Databases could be hacked after all, but there are also multiple ways we could secure a system like that, and all of our options are way better than paper files. Perhaps blockchain could really deliver in that area. A huge advantage of an electronic system like that would be improved accessibility too. Patient records are usually not available to patients and even medical practices have a hard time sharing them. A centralized, accessible system would benefit everyone. And patients could even make money by consenting for Big Pharma to use their data. But most importantly, as recent surveys show, about 20% of healthcare employees' time is devoted to handling paper records. That's time they could all use to bring better care to patients. So by going paperless, there are only upsides. Number two, remote care and monitoring. The World Health Organization estimates that more than 400,000 new health facilities will be needed to deliver universal health coverage. This is a challenging target, but it also represents an opportunity to design those facilities with a mindset of decarbonizing the patient pathway. One way to reduce patient visits and the associated carbon footprint is to adopt point-of-care technologies and telemedicine. Telemedicine saw a surge in adoption during the pandemic and can increase access to care in low-resource areas. Since patients don't need to physically go to the healthcare facility, Telemedicine can help positively reduce cost and carbon emissions. With point-of-care tools, doctors can remotely monitor patients and only recommend in-person visits if readings warrant closer medical attention. A smartwatch embedded with an ECG monitor like the Apple Watch can monitor their cardiac activity and notify them of suspicious signs. Others could use the FDA-cleared biosticker Smart Patch to continuously monitor vital signs like respiratory rate, activity levels, sleep status, gait, and more. Subsequently, they can send the data to their physician to evaluate their health remotely. And doctors would only recommend patients to head to a hospital if those readings require closer medical attention. Basically, by making better use of technology, we can provide high-quality care while reducing our impact on the environment. Number three organizing resources with artificial intelligence. Organizing resources is a tricky aspect of healthcare, often rife with inequalities and inefficient use. The pandemic highlighted the need for adequate supply chains and resource allocation, and this need can be extended beyond the pandemic to better manage and organize resources. A high-tech approach is to make use of AI-based forecasting tools. A Californian startup Quentus developed a software program that aimed to help hospital administrators during the pandemic. Their software was able to manage resources and forecast needs, ensuring that resources are properly allocated and channeled in a time of huge patient influx. 
In the case of the pandemic, the algorithm was able to forecast ICU and ventilator capacity, which is amazing if you could extend features like that to day-to-day -day operations of hospitals, because if you can predict severe cases, high-risk patients could be prioritized for specialized support, and by allocating resources efficiently, we can help reduce healthcare's carbon footprint at the same time. 3 plus 1 – Looking under every stone while high visibility, high impact projects like the first three are representing huge opportunities in bringing down the carbon footprint, it's actually the small trivial stuff that we need to carefully re-examine through the lens of decarbonization. Take for example the story of Dr. Praveen Kara, an anesthesiologist at Stanford University Medical Center, who found out that each year emissions from anesthetics used in surgeries harm the climate as much as the carbon dioxide emissions from 1 million cars. She learned that a popular anesthetic, disflurane, produces greenhouse gas emissions at a rate 2500 times higher than carbon dioxide. So Cara had an effort to eliminate disflurane in favor of far less environmentally damaging anesthetic drugs, and this change reportedly eliminated 1,200 tons of greenhouse gas emissions in 2020 alone. Cara's initiative shows us how much we can change if we just look around our surroundings and try to adopt our ways to the current climate crisis. After all, healthcare facilities can most likely take similar steps in energy efficiency, building design, transportation, waste management, and so on. We just all have to put on a more critical gloss and figure out how to make healthcare heal the environment too. If you like this video, please subscribe below. So you will get notified about all the videos we come up with. Plus, please check out the digitalhealthcourse.com, the platform where you can learn all the things around digital health and the future of healthcare.